going east. I'm here at the Princeton Club to learn more about Hong Kong's green initiative for building. The Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office invited guests on Tuesday to the Princeton Club to get a look at a greener future. The guest of honor was Hong Kong's Secretary for the Environment, Mr. Wong Kam Singh. He visited New York to represent the autonomous region at the C40 Steering Committee meeting at the United Nations in New York. This week, people are paying more attention to the global warming issue. The Hong Kong government also wants to take action to reduce emissions and develop a green city. New York and Hong Kong are similar, and we can borrow the experiences from both cities. It's a terrific opportunity to see uh, cross-cultural, cross-oceanic uh, connections, and it's great that the Secretary of the Environment from Hong Kong came to speak at the UN conference and also to have a special opportunity to, to meet him in person. It's a, it's a great delight. Hong Kong's government is looking to engage the public and industry to create an energy smart, livable city. And it's already starting to see changes happen. According to the Hong Kong Green Building Council, the number of green projects has increased by 500% since 2011. While the projects will benefit locals and tourists, Wong is determined to take inspiration from the West. I'm going to visit a neighborhood like the Battery Park City in New York. It's a showcase leading green neighborhood development that will be relevant to Hong Kong. Hong Kong is having our West Kowloon Cultural District and also Amazon Kowloon East. There are projects sharing similar vision, so that we would like to learn more from the U.S. Architects from New York have been fortunate enough to work in Hong Kong. We're increasingly seeing people and architects from Hong Kong having opportunities in New York. They share a creative imagination that comes from the people who animate the cities. We saw that today. Mr. Wong also checked out the Skyscraper Museum to learn more about high-rise buildings and sustainable growth. Just like both cities' highest buildings, a greener future will only be as strong as its foundation and the future generations who make it possible. I have a two-year-old grandson. Uh, what I am proud to leave behind is uh, at least a sense that my colleagues and I here in New York are starting to look at how to make sure that the environment that he inherits is um, uh, not polluted, is uh, not uh, uh, contaminated, is not uh, unlivable. Um, we created problems, we could solve them. The, the future of Hong Kong is with, with young people, and what I want to know is how how committed are the young people to their own future? Because they've got to make it work. Hong Kong will host the World Sustainable Built Environment Conference 2017. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Christy Clements.